Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Sei Narukana with me, Phantom Zui. So, we are still in the middle of attacking this huge pyramid with the mana shield around it, but it seems like we probably only have this one last group of minions left between us, uh, and probably another cutscene showing that exactly, uh, exactly what happens to Rodrigo's group. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so Dark Impact is going to attack the, the supporter. Um, the Zomu is a good target for that, I believe. Especially since Inspire is what I want to do anyway. Cloud Transfix isn't going to do as much as I would like to this group, but it's still fine, and we do want Nozomi to defend against that Heaven Sword. So we're just going to do the same as always. It's just so effective. I have trouble rationalizing doing, uh, doing other things a lot of times. No, Cloud Transfix is what we want here. Uh, yeah, just do that. That's fine. One shotted. Beautiful. No problem at all. Chill Barrier. This is where we put Mizomu in. And engage. One shot. Not quite one shot. Alright, but we can just basically take them out however we want at this point. Um, a few more uses on that one. And let's just have Nozomi do this. There we go. Alright. Oh, they spawned on top of us. Stand by. Cutscene. Do you think they're okay? <laughs> I don't know if you should be more worried about Rochelle. Yeah, don't worry about the group of people that have gone to, you know, into the giant field of mana, you know, surrounded by minions. Worry about the girl who's off in the, you know, safe cave. Thalia knows what's up. Satsuki's right. If we don't take care of things here, then they'll be in danger too. Alright, so we're not quite done yet. I thought we, uh, we would be done, but we are not. Oh, and they actually uh, brought everyone back to this point as well. All right. Hmm. Not with Heaven Sword. That's too strong of an attack for them. Since I feel like their defenses are their weakest point anyway. Stand by. Okay, now you move out this way. Hmm. Do we want to inspire? I think we might. Yeah, let's try it. Nice. Took some damage there, but it's not a huge deal. Got Icicle Arrow Alpha. They're ready to banish our banish. But there's no reason we would want to banish in this particular group right here. Um, hmm. I'm just going to want to stick with her, aren't I? But with Aura Photon Barrier, we can just Dark Impact you straight up with no consequence. Let's do that. Alright, so they have decided to sacrifice this one right here. Um, yeah, I still want to stick with her as our defender. I could finish her off with whoever. Soraluska does have the most health, 
So I think I'm gonna have him take this counterattack. Yeah. Alright. Now then. Heaven Sword. Out of this. Hmm. The only part that even breaks through that is the Fury, so I think I want to have Soluska do it, actually. Not enough. Close. Okay. We can kill them with whoever at this point, uh, so maybe we have her attack. That might not be enough, actually. But either of those two can. Uh, so Luska needs to take this attack, though. Rather than... And now this is the last... One, one health! <laughs> Whoa. That's the new icon. Isn't it? Oh, it's an all-rounder. Oh, man. Okay. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, uh, now... Yeah, let's let's go ahead and attack with this group. In case they spawn on top of us, I don't want to do it with the uh, kind of the Satsuki and Chris group. They're a little weak comparatively to a lot of the others. Um, so just finish them off like this. I mean, why not? Just not waste an incinerate is all. Yeah, just do that. Okay, we are gonna stand by here. We do- we've erected this fort, so we might as well use it. Oh, are they not gonna attack us? Okay, well, you move back into our fort. Um, actually, we're gonna reinforce, because we should have enough to level up now. Okay, so we can level up Nozomi again, Well, we're not gonna do that. Katima needs to level up, uh, as does Thalia and Satsuki. I think Thalia is the next one that I'm going to prioritize. Just because Katima's skill set is not, in my opinion, as good as Thalia's right now. And Satsuki is often a team that I'm using a lot less. Uh, at least for the time being. I know I, I could kind of switch things around and kind of have a few, like, you know, probably have three pretty powerful squads. Um, but it's working, so this is fine. So now Thalia will be leveled up. Let us now... Actually, no, I don't want to move in because I don't want this all-rounder to get the uh, the attack round on us. So I'm going to wait for now, because I, I do think that this group uh, 10 of enemies, this you know unit 10, is going to charge. They sure did! Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Alright, now then, uh, they're going to dark impact us, that's fine. We'll inspire. We will put the zone back in our usual spot. Yeah, same plan as always. <laughs> I know it's a little repetitious, but hey, if it works, then you know, why, why bother messing with a good thing, is my opinion on it, basically. Um, we are just going to use Cross Divider here. Icicle Arrow, of course, is not going to be able to banish that. Uh, but that's okay. I'm just more worried about doing major damage here. We might be able to one-shot him. Probably not, but... Maybe? So we probably will one-shot this one. Oh, right, the whole... Yeah, no mana. I, I always forget. Anyway, um... They have the counter-attacker now. Now it's probably a better idea to attack with her. Yes. So we did one-shot him. Now, let's do this. One shot. Beautiful. And now we just finish him with whoever. We'll give that to Rotuna. Um, and we'll actually also have Nozomi top off. Probably Thalia? Or rather, Rotuna? Okay. 
Okay, and are you gonna move forward? I wonder. Are they gonna wait for us to move forward and then hit us with whoever we move in there? They might do that. That would be a smart move, honestly. Stand by, stand by. What are you gonna do? You are gonna move forward. Okay, great. That allows us to uh, basically approach them just the way we want. Dahlia's reinforcement is complete. Didn't gain anything in particular, but, you know, doesn't happen every time. Just happens. Alright, so we're gonna attack her, of course, with our A-team. Because why wouldn't we? Um, Gaia's Blessing is a heal, I believe? No, okay, those are heals. Gaia's Blessing is plus defense. Yes. Brave Block and Devoted Block. There's no reason they wouldn't just use Devoted Block. This seems like a really weak all-rounder, honestly. Like, they're good defensively, but they have no attack power going. So, like, there's no way she can beat the squad. Like, no way. Um, but, because of the way that she is actually specced, I think we do want to use Overdrive if we were going to use Nozomi. Or Nozomi, rather, excuse me. I will... I'm sure I'll continue to make that mistake, basically, until the series is over. <laughs> and we will, uh, yeah. Nozomi will be on guard duty, essentially. If she's not, then we'll just be swapping in Nozomi for a minute so she can heal. Uh, and that's going to be basically our plan the entire time, I believe. Let's do this. God, 500 damage right off. That's ridiculous. Breeze of Relief, okay, they got to set up for a, uh, for a good heal, but we're going to stop that immediately. We'll use our Overdrive to continue to do some damage. I mean, it's a good tank character, but all you really need to do is bring in a, a strong offensive crew uh, to attack her and just screwed. That's okay. She healed a little. I'm really not worried about it. Um, but I do think that we go back to this. I didn't actually pay attention to who did more damage, but yeah, this is fine. 554. <laughs> Versus... 411, okay. So, Riptuna is still the stronger attacker in this situation. Banished it. But, we can banish with Riptuna. So we're gonna do that again just to set up the banish. Oh wait, actually, this is the end of the round, so that was kind of worthless. But that's okay. Um, should I have them attack? Because the last thing I want to do is run in there and then have her heal off of us. Because I don't have a strong enough crew to finish her really quick. So what I really need is, like, Jetsita. In this crew. Yeah. So actually, we're just going to wait with you. Because of your incinerate ability and your nice force damage, uh, you're going to be the key to us finishing her off here. So... Incinerate is our plan. Um, we will have Katima defend. I might even switch to her other one just to do a little counter damage. Not that it's strictly necessary, but it'll be nice and prevent her from really gaining a hold. I know that we're not going to do any damage to her this, this round, um, but we're going to have to deal with that. Because Incinerate is going to kill her on the next round, I believe. Let me make sure I have her Force... Strongest Force attack selected. I do. Flame Lantern. Okay. So this is our plan. The alternative is to have Katima use her attack and get in that little bit of Force damage, but it's so little damage. But then again, the counter is going to be even less, isn't it? Resolute block is... Eh. I mean, it's stronger against this, but let's just stick with this. It doesn't really matter. 
Okay, we have Incinerate set up. She heals herself. That's okay. We've got her right now. This is probably gonna kill her outright. Not quite, but that will. Alright. So just finish her with a strong four squad. Got an eternal relic for our troubles. And or a shield too. I'm like tempted to just be like, yep, and just take it immediately, but let's look around at what else we have. Icicle Arrow Alpha. Man, okay, so this is a good Eternal Relic, is what I'm getting from this. Wind Whisper. Um, defense up. Okay, and it's just on the Defender. Uh, I mean, that that's nice. It could definitely be good, because it is uh, resistance and endurance. But... Less interested in that. Sword of the Northern Sky. Oh, nice. This is the attack I've been waiting for for, for, for Katima, is, uh, you know, a skill with this kind of versatility. But unfortunately, uh, I think it's going to lose out to some of the other more interesting stuff we have going on here. Resolute Block, definitely not taking that out of these right now. Sky Ripping Fist. 12% uh, material damage. Class Death Blow. After a quick faint, Sorluska follows up with a explosion of condensed chi. It strikes directly from within the enemy's body, so the damage depends on the target's strength. It's also useful for sh uh, shaking trees to knock down fruits and nuts. Nice. Well, that's interesting, but I'm not sure how good it is. I don't think I can... Rationalize not getting Aura Shield too. At that point, Nozomu is literally like as good a defender, material-wise, as Nozomi is, and he's got the Force Power, or the, rather the Force Block of it, which is just stupid, frankly. And it only costs one mana. This is ridiculous for this point in the game. Um. On the other hand, Icicle Arrow Alpha, we already know how useful that is, but I feel like this has even more versatility, uh, so I think we just have to... Sometimes you just have to go for a long-standing defensive run, and uh, I feel like having that versatility is just really important, so we'll take that. The explosives are attached to the two devices with a single fuse between them. Ikimasu. He lights the fuse. A red spark runs across the ground. They all pray as they watch it split and race towards the two devices. If this doesn't work, then the entire plan, plan has failed. This is their last chance. The image of his dead brother is in his eyes. Oh, really? Man, they're really uh, dragging it out. What about the rest of the minions? Nice. やったわね。これでマナの嵐さえなんとかなれば。ピラミッドの中に入れるってことだ。しかし遅いの。You don't think something happened in there, do you? 不吉なこと言うのはやめようよ。だけど遅いわね。心配だわ。A delicate sense fills the air. Silence rather. Everyone's imagining the worst, but nobody's saying it. I believe in them. They will stop the mana storm. Hmm? A moment later, there's two huge explosions. Nice. Now get in there. The mass of mana in front of us starts to disperse and disappear into the air. The mana storm is completely gone. I'm worried about them. Let's hurry in. Minions? P 
people step out of the forest. Oh, well, you move fast. みんな無事です。そう。何よりだわ。これで気を抜いてはいけません。敵はあのピラビットの中にいます。戦いはこれからです。そうね。突入する前に作戦を練りましょうか。そんな悠長なことしてる場合じゃねえだろ。駅は目の前にいるんだぜ。こぶだけだ。単細胞。私たちは初めてあの施設の中に入るのよ。内部の状況もわからないのに、むやみに突っ込んでどうするのよ。それにあの大きな施設をどうやって破壊するかが問題だ
いいんですか敵は僕たちが全部やっつけちゃえばいいんだよ Hey, hey, don't put it so simply. Well, no. Yosh, Jack, Kimatana. Toro Tachi got Sere Kairo, Toket Sasate Iruadani. Oretachika Pyramid or Nagani Haite. Take your same metsu. Sono Atokara. Rodovigo Santachi got Nagani Haite, Setsubi, Hakai Sid. At the same time, we'll head up to the top and destroy the mana crystal. We take a daddy mess. Alright. Sorluska and Riptuna begin walking towards the pyramid in high spirits. However, Thalia stays back by herself and stares after them. Is something bothering you? Be ready for a boss! Someone much stronger than the minions, then. Got it. Alright. We'll do just that. Alright, sweet. Uh, we will play for a few more minutes here, but this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode today. As I'm sure you've noticed from looking at the, uh, <laughs> you know, the actual episode time on YouTube. Hmm, okay, so I guess we're just moving straight in. I should probably save, huh? Hope I'm ready for this. Having my A team move up first. Just in case. Okay. We're at the pyramid. Tell me sooner! I cut down the last minion guarding the door. <笑>休んでいる場合じゃないわ。奥に進みましょう。長老たちは精霊回廊を止めるのに成功したのかな。私たちのいる地上からじゃわからないわ。精霊回廊は人の目に触れない場所にしかないから。長老殿たちを信じ
人間たちを頼むぞ。はよ、マナケシを破壊せんと、我らの体が持た。これが、この施設の心臓部だな。All right. Before we get into this, as I expect,、uh, that we're about to fight a boss in all likelihood, I am going to end the episode. So, as always,、uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you are enjoying the episodes, I do encourage you to pick up the game for yourself to support the game and its developers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.